bike series uh, four wheeler Toyota got brought into the shop. Um, well, somebody jumped the key switch, All right? Right here. I if you can see that. Somebody jumped the key switch in there. Okay, but that's not why it came in here for. Um, it's coating out CO right off the bat from key on. Uh, let me connect up the battery. I'll show the display. There's no key switch. So, battery, start up, CO right away, right? No contactors kicked in, it's just straight CO right away. So, tech outside um, said it could possibly be the motor. That's why it came in here. The, the motor looks, yeah, seen better days. Whenever you get to these trucks, it has the that doesn't have the battery carbon even sometimes if it does uh, you know it's an acid pit now they replaced the brushes first and foremost because the tech said that the brushes were really okay. really low time uh, for the video we already did the um, basic check on the motor from terminal to terminal and terminal to frame as you can see this has a lot of acid and it checks out fine it's actually surprisingly still one mega ohm at least actually it's ol so from each terminal to the frame just to check if we have a short to the frame there's nothing um armature checks out good field winding is not connected to the armature in what so what way so we checked out good at least in the initial test on the motor so now we're going to go to the back side and look at the panel okay, so we're looking at the uh, schematic for this truck so and also the uh, flow chart, diagnostic flow chart. So the first thing that the uh, book is suggesting is, of course, this, and we did this uh, connection to the TM. Everything checks out. And then the next one is to check the voltage uh, between P8 and the negative terminal, which is directly connected to the battery. And it's saying that more than 10 volts it should be good. Less than 10 volts would be bad. And the first thing it wants to check is the MS contactor okay so looking at the diagram the MS contactor is here so what it's saying is to check if it's welded so P8 is right here and if that MS contactor is welded of course it's gonna be a direct path to the negative which would give you a lower voltage basically a negative on P8 okay so we're gonna do that now uh, got the uh, meter hooked up so this is going to be the negative right there that's n1 and p8 is going to be this bar right here connected to the contactors and it goes and run down that bar and it connects directly to the uh, drain side of the uh, MOSFET so p8 right there connected to the drain of that MOSFET okay so we're gonna turn on the truck and see okay what so batteries plugged in I know if you can hear it from the background but the truck is beeping uh, that's the code CO and now from P8 to the negative of the battery all I can see is a 0 0.240 volt okay but I know that the MS contactor which is right there that is not welded so First thing is, do I really have a negative on the uh, P8 link? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this to battery, the red lead. Okay, that's the battery. So you can see that's battery voltage. And then I'm gonna transfer this now, the black lead into the P8, which is right here. So and then the reading is battery voltage. So. P8 has a direct connection to the negative of the battery. Okay, so going back to the schematic, if I have a negative on P8, what path can this take? I know it's not through the MS contactor. Is it possible that my capacitor is shorted out? Okay, we'll test that first. And the way we're going to test it is if this is shorted 
So on the top part of this capacitor, I should see also negative. All right. Okay. Capacitors right here. I'm gonna transfer my black lead into that top part of the capacitor. And the reading is zero. Meaning to say I don't have a direct negative. So my capacitor is not shorted. Okay, so next thing is, what I'm doubting is the transistor itself. That somehow the transistor is shorted. And the way I'm gonna test this is I'm gonna take out the bars and just leave the bar for the drain. If my negative goes away, then that would point me into the direction of taking out, taking out those transistors and then checking them one by one. We can also have a shorted diode here because you can see you can have a, a connection from the drain to the source, which is right here. If this diode is shorted, then yes, it would give a full negative also. So that's what we're gonna okay, do next. So what we've done is disconnect the negative bar through the source and then I disconnected the uh, leads or the base or the uh, gate and also the sense wire for the source and look at the voltage there so 16 volts which would actually pass basing on the book but let me show you this if I touch this now and punch it in all right connected it manually you can see it goes back to 38 if I take it off so next thing we're gonna do is take off those transistors and check it one by one okay so we got the uh, transistors out or MOSFETs so this is the good one and this is the one bad that I found on there so test a good one first between the drain and the source OL OL all right and on the bad one you see this that's 230 ohms same so go back to the good one OL OL and then on the bad one between the source and the gate that's full continuity all right and then from reverse full continuity one ohm and on the good one all right and also here okay so one transistor was bad it's shorting out between like i said the drain and the source so this is connected to p8 in the circuit and now you have 226 ohms which is too low for a transistor between drain and source that should never ever be connected these are determinants that acts as a switch to connect the load to the negative right so on the good one you see ol so this is bad shorting out to the negative so we're gonna replace all three of them because if one has shorted out, I would think that the uh, other two would not be too far behind. So we're gonna replace the transistors and then we're gonna go back and test the truck, see if it's fixed. Okay, so all transistors have been replaced. Checking still a P8 with the black lead on the negative terminal, zero volts. Okay, Chris, plug it in, plug the battery in. Let's see once he plugs the battery in, what voltage we see. Okay, so 22 volts is not direct voltage anymore. That is what we were looking for. More than 10 volts earlier, which is 0.2. Okay, um, go on forward, directional. Okay. Okay, try to drive slightly. Try to drive forward. Okay, we're good. That's it. This one's a fix.